Kaiser Oscar uh, good afternoon uh, you will be first po to uh, ask a Right. Uh, magandang hapon muli. Uh, tunay ngang handang isip, handa bukas. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng ating mga stakeholders uh, sa ating host region, ang Region 12 Sox Sargent sa pangunguna ni R.D. Alan Farnaso. Uh, tayo po ay nagbabalik sa ating uh, press conference uh, kasunod ng uh, national kick-off ng uh, school readiness program. Uh, kasama po natin ang ating mga miyembro ng Execom. Uh, we have here Yusek uh, Uh, Just Dado San Antonio, Yusek Annalyn Sevilla, uh, Yusek Jess Mateo, at of course, ang ating uh, kalihim uh, na Secretary Leonor Magtualis Briones. At uh, makakasama natin ngayong hapon na ito ang mga guro at mga, uh, te- uh, at mga mag-aaral, no? uh, pati ang uh, DepEd uh, Teachers Union uh, na kanina ay nagbigay ng uh, statement of support at uh, um, nagbigay rin ng pahayag tungkol sa readiness po ng ating mga paaralan. Uh, we acknowledge Ms. Cynthia Villarin, ang pambansang Pangulo po ng Deaf Ed Teachers Union, uh, si Mayor uh, Jaime Atayde, uh, Mayor of Luna Isabela, uh, si Ma'am uh, Maria Cristina Robles, uh, Principal 4 ng Davotas National High School, si Ma'am uh, Eloisa Dizon, uh, Principal po ng Santiago City National High School, Uh, si Ma'am Ivy Yi Graho, principal po ng Mangayon Elementary School. Uh, si Ma'am Rosa Agokoy, principal ng Don Ruben Ecleo Memorial National High School. And uh, Pastor Joseph Manuel, uh, director po ng Shining Light uh, Academy. Uh, Sir Melbert Baran, uh, teacher in charge po ng Kalai IP School. Uh, Mr. Ma'am Leonarda uh, Toralba, head teacher po ng Sukaw. Elementary School, uh, si Ma'am Marilu uh, Nonato, Principal ng Malaya Elementary School, uh, Sir Nover uh, Cesar Escabarte, 
uh, Division ALS sa uh, e-learning coordinator po natin uh, sa Tagumpay uh, Paling Eskwelahan uh, ALS Center. And of course, uh, si Ma'am Epifania Dinlasan, ang uh, principal po ng Don Luis Hidalgo Memorial School. So, uh, yun nga po, uh, dito pa rin yung ating mga kasamahan na, na media, uh, media partners. Uh, we're still live po and uh, live on the uh, Philippines as well. So, let me start this uh, press conference by uh, uh, continuing po sa pagtatanong ng ating mga kasamahan sa media. Uh, ang unang magtatanong po ay si uh, Ginoong Oscar I. Uh, Oida, sir, ng GMA7. Go ahead po. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Secretary. Good afternoon. This is Oscar Oida. Ang uh, question ko lang, Secretary, no, I understand that there are 22.9 million students na handang-handa ng mag-aral. 22.9? Yes. Um, tanong ko lang, Secretary, no, hindi din naman lingid sa kaalaman nyo yung mga nagka-cast ng doubt at hanggang ngayon nagdududa pa rin sa pagka-ready ng DepEd dito sa blended uh, education no, or distance learning. And with the glitches na nangyari kanina dun sa kick-off uh, na 9 o'clock dapat magsisimula yung kick-off pero there are unavoidable technical uh, glitches hindi kaya lalong nagpatiba yung doubt nila sa readiness ng DepEd. Ano pong reaksyon nyo lang ma'am? Hindi naman DepEd ang pinanggalingan ng problema na yan. And besides, under blended learning you have a choice if online does not work if you have glitches in the delivery of the learning modalities you have other uh, alternatives. Uh, largely, yung sinasabi natin sa TV, sa radio, uh, kasi halimbawa, solar radio, uh, may mga municipalities ngayon na nag-set up sila ng radio stations nila na sarili na uh, short lang ang, ang distances ng uh, makocover niyan at uh, hindi na kailangan ang uh, halimbawa ICT uh, powers and all that. Uh, at saka ang nalas talaga, if all else fails, then you have the printed modules. Kasi we have the impression na ang ating uh, blended learning, uh, isa lang ang online. And if online fails, then the entire thing collapses. Then that's not blended. Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng blended, iba't ibang mga, iba't ibang mga paraan. Kagaya ng blender ng mami mo o ng misis mo, eh, iba't ibang ingredients pinaghalo yan at saka makukuha mo yung flavor na gusto mo uh, at uh, iba ang lalabas iba kaysa original so um, hindi natin masasabi ay eh, dahil may glitch kanina therefore blended education will fail I, I think that uh, I, I beg to humbly disagree Dahil there are other ways. Yun ang paulit-ulit naming sinasabi na kung isang strategy, isang modality, hindi o obra, mayroon pang menu of other options. Magandang ehemplo halimbawa, ang Sarangani, Sarangani ang nakikita naming options radio, pero mayroon ng uh, sa DepEd din na sila nag-develop ng paraan kung saan uh, mapasok nila ang mga tablets, etc. Other, other ways. So, iba't ibang paraan. Kaya nga, sinasabi namin, bawat rehiyon iba yung mix ng kanilang, uh, ang kanilang uh, approach. Halimbawa, yung empanada, ibang-ibang uh, lugar doon sa north, ay eh, depende yan sa mix ng ingredients. Mayroong may baboy, mayroong wala. Mayroong may patatas, mayroong wala. Mayroong maraming asin, mayroong wala. Depende sa pangangailangan, depende sa preference, depende sa effectiveness ng, ng paraan na yan. So, uh, kung hindi obra ang, ano, ang online dahil nagkakaroon ng connectivity problems, eh hindi sabihin na babagsak na yung buong Department of Education. Hindi ibig sabihin na babagsak na yung buong curriculum. Dahil alam naman na, na yung mga ganyang bagay nangyayari sa developing country like the Philippines o kayo galing kayo sa GMA familiar kayo sa mga ganong klaseng glitches pero nahahanapan palagi ng paraan nahahanapan yung sinabi kanina na one of the speakers 
uh, I think it was uh, the former mayor of Navotas. And then yung sinabi ni, ano, ni uh, Senator Gatsalian, yung imposible gawing posible. Maski sasabihin mo, ay, hindi ganyan, napakahena yung DepEd na yan, etc., etc. So therefore, uh, hindi na lang tayo uh, gagalaw. Dahil we are overcome by our fears, no? So, um, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So, tingnan natin kung anong mangyayari sa August 24. Kung hindi obra si... Uh, would you believe it? Ako, I've always thought, just from impressions, na NCR will be predominantly, ano, predominantly online. Then it turns out, nung kami ay nag-survey during the enrollment period, it turns out na ang mga parents at mga bata, gusto pa rin nila yung mayroong face-to-face -face component. At saka, gusto nila talaga yung modular. So kung susundin mo yan, napakabigat ng financial ano dyan, implications. Kasi, kaya nga sinabi doon sa Sarangani na uh, dihamak na ang laki-laki ng difference yan sa cost. Pero susundin natin yan. This is where the local governments come in. Like uh, what Nabotas is doing, like what the, uh, Luna is also doing, na tumutulong sila sa paggawa uh, ng mga, mga print, uh, printed materials. Dahil yun ang kinakailangan para magiging effective yung education. So, um, perhaps uh, we, 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 we should uh, look at it in that way. Blended learning is not exclusively online. It can be offline, it can be TV, it can be radio. And we will keep on repeating it day by day, hour after hour, minute by minute, until we accept that blended learning is not exclusively online. In the same manner that we are also saying that blended learning is not exclusively face-to-face. Kasi uh, dahil sa situation natin, at blended learning is not uniform. Matagal na yung sinabi ni uh, Congressman Salceda, sinabi din yun ni Senator uh, Aimee, uh, sa panahon ngayon, walang one size fits all na will be marching to the same tune. Dahil magkaiba yung uh, sitwasyon. Hindi mo makumpare, for example, ang Abra. Nakita naman ninyo ang video ng Abra. Na, at ako, nakapunta naman ako sa Abra. Oo. At uh, marami sa inyo. Ay, siguro, um, mayroong isang opisyal na napakataas talagang opisyal. Sabi niya, ay naiembaras nga siya dahil uh, ako, nakapunta na ako sa, sa tulungan sa Cotabato kung saan nandoon yung seat talaga ng uh, yung leader ng kanilang uh, uh, salugpungan na for the past 30 years. Na nakausap ko siya talaga, pinuntahan ko siya talaga. Hindi naman lahat makakagawa ng ganun. Oh. So, uh, iba yung approach natin sa IPs, iba yung approach. Depende, as I said, sa creativity. And this is where the challenge to the teachers and to our officials uh, lies. Na hindi na give up na tayo. Kasi hindi pala obra si online. Eh, marami naman Pilipino sanay na walang online eh. Kasi yun nga ang hinihingi nila. Mayroong iba naman mga bata, ayaw nila yung mama nila o mami nila o daddy nila. Yun ang magturo sa kanila. Gusto nila ang teacher talaga. Gusto nila. So, uh, medyo added ano yan sa teacher. Then the teacher will be the one. Uh, monitoring the progress of the child in addition to the parents because we have to be fair to the parents. Not all parents are, are, uh, are interested or ready to teach their own children. So, ganon lang yan. Yung what works in, in, in locos na empanada may not necessarily be the same as that in, in, the, in the Visayas. At saka sabihin natin yung readiness. Uh, uh, natatawa nga yung aking mga uh, executive committee members. It's like, it's like marriage. Uh, how many of us believe na ready, 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 ready na tayo talaga to get married? Usually one party may have uh, ano pa, feeling not yet ready. 
O yung isa naman, feeling ready, ready. Yung mga ganon na sitwasyon. If you wait until you are completely, completely ready, by that time, there will also be other demands na. There will be other problems. There will be other challenges. Because there is no end to challenges. In 50 years' time, we will not look the way we do look right now. Maybe the color of our eyes would be different. Iba na nga ngayon. Maybe ang lifespan natin hindi na yung uh, 100 years, baka 150 years na. Maybe uh, uh, lahat na body parts natin pwede nang pagpapalitan in 50 years' time. Maybe we can have a change of career. If you are 150 years old, maybe you can have several careers in your lifetime. Hindi lang na teacher ka forever and ever or reporter ka forever and ever dahil humahaba na yung life uh, lifespan uh, natin and uh, kasi we have a futures group in education we are looking at the future of education the future of society the future of humankind and these are the things that uh, we are uh, we are also as i said interested in hindi lang sa ngayon so i hope i've made uh, we have made ourselves clear na yun ang, yun ang advantage ng you have a menu of options because if something fails or does not work, then there is always another uh, approach which you can try or another combination of approaches which you can try. Thank you. Okay, follow up, follow up, sir. Go ahead. Yes. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much for that answer. No? Ma'am, yung ano naman, what can you say about yung mga... Speaking of yung mga pagiging resourceful no ng mga teachers no there's this ma one mom Edeline na na nanghihingi ng donasyon papel to print out uh, modules para magamit ng mga magulang do you encourage this mom yung mga yung mga resourcefulness outside yung budget na na italaga para sa kanila ng DepEd kasi you you have a school board every school has a school board so hindi naman kailangan na mag-iisa the teacher by his lonely or his lone, her lonely self uh, maglilibot, maghihingi ng uh, donation. The school board can do that as, as a school board, as an institution. And besides, as I was saying, you have, the, you have the special education fund. The special education fund is a national tax. It is a tax from payment for private property, it's a private property tax. Now, if the citizens of a, of a special education fund, which is uh, held by the local government, ang local government ang nagko-collect niyan, ang cherry diyan ay ang Department of Education. As long as it is done in a transparent manner, as long as it is reported and accounted for, like kami in the Department of Education, we tend to, to, uh, uh, we tend to prefer uh, material donations rather than cash donations, especially kung hindi pa established yung, 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 yung donor. No? Na, na, SEF is a, a very good example because it is a national tax actually. It is from real property tax collected by the local government, part of which should go to education, and the decisions will have to be cleared with the school board, which is chaired by the uh, Department of Education. Tatlong agencies yan, Department of Education, DBM, and the Civil Service Commission, who make such decisions on the Special Education Fund. Pero malaki ang papel ng local government kasi sila ang nagko-collect yan. At saka ang magpupunta sa Special Education Fund is a certain percentage. Like kanina, you had a, a speaker natin, si, si Honorable uh, uh, Supreme Court Justice, former Supreme Court Justice. He heads a, funda he, he heads a uh, uh, foundation, which is World Vision. Now, uh, we are free to donate. We are free also to ask for their assistance. But of course, it has to be transparent. Because World Vision is transparent to those who contribute to World Vision, and it's a worldwide organization. And in the Philippines, it is headed by no less than a uh, uh, former uh, um, a, a retired Supreme Court Justice. So 
uh, okay lang yan, i-report just as we do in Brigada Eskwela na nagsusolicit ang, ang, ang mga teachers, etc. Pero there has to be reportage and there has to be accountability and uh, uh, it has to be with the knowledge, uh, of course, of the school. Dun. Uh, At saka mayroon tayong program na halimbawa adaptive school na nagbibigay ng ano ng tax uh, tax rebates up to magkano ba uh, uh, yung an up to 150% ata kung mag adapt ang isang institution ng isang school pero mas maganda okay. institutional kay, yeah. kaysa kaysa individual Mas maganda ang institutional kasi yung accountability is assured dahil kung institution ka, uh, you will demand reports, you will demand uh, makikita mo yung output, etc. Et uh, thank you so much, ma'am. May uh, idadagdag po ata si uh, Yusek Ann. Uh, go ahead, ma'am. Ma Tama po si Secretary uh, Liling Briones. It, it is done in the spirit of the Brigada Skwela. Kasi every time we open the school, we, uh, of course, meron po talagang volunteerism na ano rito, component. At mahirap po talaga na hihindian mo yung mismong nag-offer at humihingi din ng, uh, uh, sila mismo nagsasabi, how can they help the school? At uh, I think ito po ay isang magandang value ng mga Pilipino na talagang pa, kung para sa mga bata, para sa eskulahan, ay bukas loob nila itong ginagawa. Uh, I think na magnify yung, uh, yung pong, uh, programa na ginagawa ng mga teacher natin ngayon. I hope you do not uh, misinterpret at uh, hindi po magkaroon ng miscommunication dito. Because yung urgency nung pag-shift namin from face-to-face -to, -face to another delivery mode has really put pressure to our teachers. At sa tingin namin yung pong bukas uh, loob talaga, buong, lo buong puso at bukas loob na gusto nilang i-prepare ka agad yung mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral, ay hindi nila naintay yung pong pondo na nanggaling dito sa national office. Uh, as I explained earlier in our uh, press conference kanina, yung 2020 budget natin ay hindi nakadesign para sa isang uh, self-learning module. Ang budget natin ay nakadesign sa isang face-to-face, -face, kaya po yung nabigay sa ating budget ay panggawa ng eskwelahan, pang-repair ng eskwelahan, textbook, etc. Ngayon po, ang kailangan natin ay mga activity sheets and, and learning modules. At ito po ay, nung nalaman ng mga teacher, ang ginawa po nila ay nireprograma rin ang Brigada Eskwela. Instead na maglinis ng mga eskwelahan, ang hiningi po nila ay mga materyales na kailangan ng mga bata habang sila nag-aaral sa bahay. At meron po tayong, tama po si Secretary Liling Briones, meron po tayong polisiya sa loob ng Brigada Eskwela. Kailangan may transparency, may accountability, at uh, syempre ay sama-sama rin po oh, mga komunidad at saka lalo na po yung Parents Teacher Association na nagre-report kung ano po yung mga natatanggap na ito. Tama rin po si Secretary, pag institutional po yung donation, ay po pwede po sila mag-apply ng isang tax exemption or parang certificate dahil kung ito po isang kumpanya, meron pong uh, mabibigay sa kanilang tax credits. At ito po ay nasa strand ni Yusek Tony Umali under the Brigada Escuela. Sa aming pong department order, nakasulat po doon yung mga kondisyon at mga requirements para po sila ay mabigyan ng tax credit. So again, uh, we, we do uh, plea for your understanding na ang ginagawa ng mga teacher ay para sa preparation ng mga bata. Kung meron mang kong abuso o hindi maganda na nangyayari, please do report to us kasi madali rin naman po natin itong makukorek. Dahil uh, sabi nga natin ang iskwelahan ay talagang good example ng transparency at makikita naman po yan dyan. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Siguro magdagdag lang ako. Uh, maganda kasi nandito ang press. Uh, pag mayroong sako na, usually kung mayroong crisis, usually uh, kung minsan, yung mga known uh, 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 institutions na alam nila nagbibigay ng tulong, etc. Known individuals who have dealings with the, with the department like the Department of Education. Kung minsan tinatawagan yan, sasabi na si Secretary Briones na nangungulekta ng, ng pera para sa para sa pag sa volcano uh, victims o para sa biktima ng baha. Ito yung account number at saka may urgency del papunta na siyang probinsya, dadalhin na niya yung pera, pakideposit dito sa account na ito. Ang ginagawa ng iba, 
ay siyempre uh, feeling ano sila feeling touched sila eh, eh bigay sila kaagad nagdi-deposit kaagad pero kami pag malalaman namin yan mayroon namang iba chine-check nila pero naka-deposit na sila so winawarning nga namin yung bank na kung halimbawa mayroong nagdi-deposit ng check sa ganitong pangalan ganito ganyan ganyan hindi kami uh, ako I don't individually solicit uh, Uh, contributions uh, unless these are really the established I know these are really the established foundations uh, these are the established donors etc na alam na alam natin talagang lihit mo pero maraming ganyong mga scam na uh, nang at saka maski anong gawin mong announce ng announce aywan ko ba kung lumalabas yan sa 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 media Eh, maya-maya mayroon namang tatawag sa amin na ah, ganito, ah, totoo bang nangungulekta si Secretary Briones ng, ng pera para sa ganyan, ah, nagbigay ng ganitong bank account sa pangalan ni ganito. So, tinitrace mo namin yan kasi ah, as a rule, ah, I do not ah, engage in that ah, activity. So, ah, mabuti din na, na bring up mo yun, ah, ah, Mr. GMA, na uh, warning nga natin ang public na hindi basta-basta magbibigay ng mga kunwari na collecting for somebody. I'm, I'm very sure in other uh, agencies nangyayari din yan. Ginagamit yung mga pangalan ng mga heads of agencies o mga institutions para daw mangungulekta para sa nangangailangan. Okay. Uh, thank salamat. you so much, Secretary. And thank you so much, uh, Oscar uh, O ay po ng GMA7. Ang susunod na magtatanong ma'am ay si uh, Bonds Magsambol po ng Rappler. Bonds, go ahead. Oh, good afternoon, Secretary Briones. Good afternoon po. This is Bonds Magsambol po from Rappler. Um, I, uh, I, just, I, just I think to... uh, I, I heard you before. I've, I've met you virtually uh, before. Uh, Ma'am, I just yeah. want to ask, para lang din po mabigyan ng idea yung mga parents natin when it comes to modular, lear modular, modular learning. Uh, can you give us an idea how this will work? How are the modules po madidistribute? And will the parents be required to go to school po? Or does it make sense? Uh, ito kanina na, na, na pakita, siguro dahil sa kadami ng mga videos, di una, di prepare yung mga modules Uh, in update yan, etc. But as I said uh, earlier, during the first part of the press conference, it's not as if these are completely strange or completely new to our teachers and those who are working on them. Kasi uh, these are based on, on the earlier uh, uh, listing of, uh, of competences na more than 15,000 na na reduce So, it's, uh, hindi naman bagong bago pero ina-update ito no once these are prepared once these are prepared pini-print and uh, uh, right now binibigyan namin ng autonomy ang mga regions ang mga schools na sila ang mag uh, pwedeng sila ang mag-print na ka-download na ngayon pera ng ating Yosek Finance pagkatapos uh, uh, <clears throat> kung na-print na yan kung nahihirapan sila Kasi kuminsan sa supply ng paper, whatever, uh, so, uh, humihingi sila ng tulong sa central office sa kanilang mga procedures, etc., etc. Nandiyan palagi yung central office to to help them out. But there are those also who exercise autonomy and creativity. Uh, sila na ang nag -ano. At sila, sila, binibigyan kasi sila like... For example, uh, uh, one country uh, I, I know nagbigay ng riso uh, uh, reproduction machines. Uh, mayroong mga uh, big uh, institutions na nagdo-donate, mga local... Ang mahilig magbigay ng riso machines, printing machines, are the local governments. At saka, madali because they are, they are in the same territory. No, nasa municipality o nasa lo local government. Once these are already prepared, mayroon niya mga pick-up points Opo. na kung saan ipipick up ng, ng, ng parents, etc. Kung hindi ma-pick up ng parents, halimbawa, Monday, uh, uh, hindi ma-pick up ng parents yan, then we usually seek the help 
at saka nakita natin yan in the case of Nabotas sa mga barangay uh, um, officials or village officials. Dahil ang barangay usually would know uh, would know kung saan makikita itong mga uh, mga batang ito and all that. At saka uh, alam din nila kung saan nakatira yung teachers. Lalo na sa mga rural areas. Lahat nagkakaalaman yan. So makakatulong sila. And then uh, pag Friday na, ayun, yung mga uh, modules kasi mga workbooks yan, etc. na fill up na, kukulektahin yan uh, ng, ng either the teacher or the volunteer. Nakita natin yan sa case sa Sarangani na pinipick up tapos rinireview ng mga uh, mga te ng teachers kinokorekt tapos balik na naman ang bagong assignment so it is a uh, 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 in terms of costing uh, it, it's probably uh, hindi ko lang sabihin it's probably but it is quite ano uh, 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 expensive uh, relative uh, kasi uh, being expensive is a relative thing no Uh, uh -oh. Sa lahat ng mga modalities, ito ang medyo expensive dahil uh, sa preparation, sa printing, sa distribution, etc. Pero tumutulong ang local governments niyan. Pero uh, the fact remains that it is a preferred uh, uh, modality of, of many parents. Halos neck to neck silang uh -oh. uh, ano, ang mga bata. Gusto nilang... Ano, gusto nilang uh, gusto nilang online at saka mga parents naman gusto nila yung uh, ganong klase ng modality so uh, we respond to to uh -oh. this uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. thank you po sec uh, for my for my next question po this is another practical question how do we make sure that the students themselves not the parents are answering the activity sheets at home po do we uh, have there are, there are there are mechanisms Uh, by which you can tell uh, ako uh, uh, hindi ko mabigay sa sarili ko as an example because uh, I used to teach at the graduate level, sa so doctoral, masteral and then the undergraduate level but I'm sure sa mga teachers din natin they, can, they, have, they have a way of knowing pero sinasama din natin naka-built in yung assessment side uh, then maybe si ano, Yusik Dads can uh, can uh, uh, give an example, can explain. Also, uh, sa private schools, maraming private schools na, hindi pa yan pumasok ang DepEd dyan. Maraming private schools who already are doing blended learning. Oo. And so, mayroon silang, uh, remember, I will not mention the school, no? Uh, you said that's, di ba? Mayroong malaking series of schools all over the country na halos bawat probinsya mayroong school sila niyan eh uh, ang ano nila talagang they have been doing blended uh, even before so nakadevelop din sila ng mga methods by which uh, uh, it's challenging of course pero ako I can tell immediately pero hindi naman ako nagbibigay ng sarili ko sa an example because as I said uh, iba namang level ang tinuturuan ko pero I, I believe teachers can also tell. Maybe so. I will, so I will <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'd like to ask you, Sir to to add. Uh, sir, yung okay. audio punyo mahina, sir. Thank you very much, Ma'am Liling, uh, Ma'am Bones. Um, isa pong component ng ating <clears throat> assessment ay uh, authentic assessment. Although pwede rin ngang gawin ito ng parents, pero po. Uh, hopefully, within the grading period, magkakaroon po ng conversation si teacher at ang bata. Pwedeng sa phone o pwedeng sa uh, pagbisita niya ng bahay kung pwedeng gawin ito, observing health protocols. At without actually administering an examination, uh, pwede pong ma ma matansya ni teacher kung ang mga sinubmit na outputs, written outputs at mga performance tasks ay talagang ginawa ng bata. So ayan po ay napakita rin sa ating mga uh, dry runs na minsan talagang nag-video si nanay ng ginawa ng anak niya at sinagmit sa teacher using the FB Messenger. Mga ganito mong sistema kung um, ay, ay pwedeng matansya ni teacher na ito nga ay ginagawa ng estudyante. Ang big, gusto rin po natin bigyang, bigyang diin yung idea na ito yung perfect time para magturo tayo ng honesty sa ating mga anak 
at uh, kung sa bahay mismo ay pinapakita ng magulang na hin- ang pagiging dishonest ay nakakatulong ay wala na tayong pag-asa bilang isang bansa. So dapat po yata ay uh, ilagay din ito sa puso ng bawat isang uh, tutulong sa pagpapatuto sa mga bata habang nasa bahay sila. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Yusek uh, Dabs. Uh, uh, maraming salamat, Bonds, uh, magsampol ng, ng rapper. Ang susunod po ay si uh, Jasmine Romero ng uh, ABS-CBN. Uh, Jasmine, go ahead. Hello, Jasmine. Uh, Jasmine, uh, you're, you're in line. Hi, hi. Hapon po sa inyo, Secretary, magandang hapon po and to all the guests. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, hi. meron lang po nagpapatanong, no? galing po ito sa isang principal. Um, nagtatanong po siya ng status tungkol sa printing module sa NCR. Hindi pa daw po kasi nakapag-start ng pag-print ng mga modules. Eh, ang concern po kasi nila, mataas po ang population ng mga schools, lalo na po sa Quezon City, which is 3,000 to 12,000 students. So, paano daw po yung distribution? Following health protocols, aabutin daw po ito ng one month, eh, marami daw pong teachers ang ayaw na mag-distribute dahil natatakot daw po sa COVID at hindi daw maaasahan ng mga barangay officials pagdating na po sa actual distribution. Ah, uh, very real naman at uh, real naman yung uh, concern ng uh, teacher na yan o principal ba uh, on the preparation and the distribution of the modules. At saka that is very real in the case of NCR of course dahil ang MCR ay MGCQ uh, or Cebu is uh, pero ay, hindi na na Cebu is in a better situation daw than now than uh, NCR. Oo. So uh, ang 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 iniisip naman kasi talagang nakik- nakikiusap din ang ating regional director na kung pwedeng bigyan sila ng uh, 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 bigyan sila ng additional time uh, during which uh, they can focus on the preparation of the modules they will be slightly ano they will they will be uh, perhaps uh, a few days behind or a few days uh, in uh, uh, sa pag-formal uh, start ng classes. Mag-start ang classes but uh, hindi diretso ko agad sa mga learning modules dahil hinahanda pa yun. Uh, and this is true in the case of NCR, not only NCR but also Region 4. Oo, kasi ito yung mga MDCQ and and we understand uh, their, their situation so we will under- uh, we will understand and give allowance if they cannot uh, the modules cannot be finished within the time ano kasi ang ano diyan uh, ang, ang requirement diyan skeleton force eh so ang hirap naman ng mga skeletons they will be rattling around uh, in the buildings and uh, uh, without any flesh so ma, ma ano ma delay talaga sila so there will be considerations for that but there are other activities that they can engage in even as the modules are still being uh, ready, in particular for NCR and for Region 4, yung iba ang risk classification nila. At uh, as I was saying, that is a, uh, that is a real concern, and uh, the regional director has uh, duly reported that. Uh, ma- okay, ano Secretary, sila? so opo, kung ganyan po, um, just to clarify, NCR and Region 4, we will expect a little bit of delay pagdating po sa pag-distribute po ng modules and kung meron pong delay what kind of activities uh, there might be effect? kasi right, right now right now you have until the 19th kasi kasi the situation in NCR is unpredictable uh, kung mag-improve di ba mayroong official sa atin from AATF na nagsasabi na by uh, by the end of the two week period uh uh it will be ano, yung, yung improvement uh, in the numbers and, and the risk assessment will be so much better. Ito lang talagang hinigpitan ng husto uh, at this particular time para magkaroon naman ng, ng effect. So uh, maybe uh, after, the, after the 15th, the picture will have changed. But uh, 
natin and, and we are uh, monitoring and we, we understand the situation. So, um, uh, Jasmine, uh, this, this, uh, our teachers, is, you, you think Quezon City, for example, or you think Region 4, they're, they're very, very good teachers. And uh, so they're capable of making the necessary uh, adjustments. And they're also capable of understanding their situation compared, for example, to, to some of our island uh, schools, which don't have the kind of uh, pressure that uh, they are undergoing uh, at present. So it's not as if we do not know what is happening because three or four times a week, we meet virtually with all the regional directors, the superintendents, and the uh, uh, executive committee. So kung may, may, ano, may complication or may challenge, uh, uh, we respond as, as quickly as we can. We are in a situation na uh, yung sinabi ko ito sa aming mga tao, I don't know if I have said it because I have not been appearing uh, suppressed for uh, for some time. Na uh, the situation right now is not like this is quotable. It's not like an algebraic equation where you may only have two unknowns: si x at si kawai. Kung gusto mo magdagdag at sa si z, the situation right now is there are so many unknowns. So uh, right now we cannot say. This is what we will do. This is what we will do in great detail. But in general, the framework, eh, claro, ang instructions, claro, sa kanila. Na they have the uh, they have the autonomy to be creative, and and it's it's the easiest thing to do now to to inform even the secretary at midnight or at dawn. Na this is what is happening, and and we have this kind of problem. So, uh, alam namin ang NCR, alam namin ang, ang Region 4, uh, ang, ang Region 4A, the, the contrast is very, 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 uh, very, very wide because you have uh, provincial or, or, or mga uh, countryside types of municipalities and local governments, but at the same time, uh, Region 4A is the center also of uh, industrial activity. Not, and, and you have uh, kung ano yung tarlac noon na melting pot ay uh, region 4A is uh, is the new melting pot. You have people from practically all regions of the country, different cultures, different languages, moving in and out. So the the risk is uh, is uh, very high. At saka yung population, uh, region 4A has the highest number of enrollees, more than 4 million in in region 4a alone higher than uh, ncr so uh the, the, these are things that we are uh, sensitive to na uh, binabantayan and it helps that we get uh, feedback from our people and we get feedback from you about about the situation which we are also aware of by the way Another question, Secretary. Um, open po ba ang DepEd na mag-hire ng mga private school teachers, lalo na po dun sa mga schools na nagsara o nagsuspend ng operations? Especially since um, not all of them have passed the LEP exams? Uh, actually, uh, pumapayag na. Maybe ano, si uh, Yusik Ann can explain further. Pumapayag ang, de ang uh, DBM. They, they are allowing us to get yung tinatawag nating para teachers. Uh, familiar sila with teaching, may exposure sa teaching, but not necessarily licensed. Kasi uh, uh, kung with our kind of blended learning, eh, kailangan talagang ma uh, ano ma monitor din yung mga bata because rin na recognize naman natin that, that all parents are also ready capable or interested or have the uh, uh, constituency uh, to have to have the to have the uh, desire to to and the patience to 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 teach and may, uh, many mothers also say that they don't have that kind of patience that teachers uh, teachers have so uh, I think we can uh, we would be considering them because uh, we will be allowed to do that by by the DBM telling nothing para teachers 
and um, uh, there are also other agencies which need uh, uh, people who are fairly educated, like kalimbawa contact tracers, kalimbawa yung uh, uh, kasi ang focus ngayon ay COVID, uh, yun talaga ang, ang very also very badly needed because kailangan siguro sa tingin ko hindi lang yung high school graduate eh, pero mas mabuti yung college graduate for accuracy and recording and for care in ano ba, taking the appropriate uh, protective uh, actions which are necessary. Pero kami, uh, di ba, Yusik Ann, pinapayagan naman tayo. Yusik Ann. Yes, ma'am. Mm -mm. Pinapaya pinapayagan tayo. Like, I'll give you an example, uh, Jasmine. I cannot mention the name of this person. This person is a choir director. He's really a musician. But he is a PhD in mathematics from the University of the Philippines. Because mathematics and music tend to go very well. And Professor Shasayupi, then he, he was attracted to the private sector. Lumipat siya sa private sector. Naabutan siya ng COVID. Uh, pandemic. So, wala siyang uh, uh, ano, yung regular uh, contract. So, six months now, wala siyang trabaho. PhD in mathematics from the University of the Philippines. And I don't even understand maski yung title na lang yung dissertation niya, hindi ko maintindihan. Pero he is jobless. And here we are uh, debating about other things. And, and you have 163,000 of these uh, teachers sa private school na uh, I don't know kung napapansin sila. Oh, pero ito, this is a very real example of a person. Some of you in the Exicom, you, you know him because you have seen him conduct because he's both musician. It's like the, the dean of the college, former dean of the College of Music in UST. PhD Mathematics from UK, Dean sa College of Music of UST, and one of the best, the very best uh, piano, uh, piano performers uh, this country has ever produced. Pero at least retired siya, so mayroon siyang ano. Ito, naabutan, lumipat sa private school. Ngayon, wala siyang trabaho. And, uh, uh, well, uh, he would understand many more things about math and data analytics than I would probably do. Uh -oh. And uh, you, you, that's why you, you understand where I'm coming from when I talk about administrative costs. Uh -oh. So, uh, uh, Secretary, on a different uh, matter naman po, no? a lot of teachers have, uh, going back to teachers po, no? yung yung kanilang fear of acquiring COVID during their duty as, you know, um, at, um, uh, while they're distributing modules to to, to parents. Uh, ang tanong po kasi ng marami sa kanila, paano kung tamaan ako ng COVID? Anong assistance ito ng DepEd? Meron po ba kayong na-formulate na assistance or additional assistance for teachers na tatamaan ng COVID? We we are we are working at it, but it's difficult to determine kung saan mo nakuha ang COVID because you can get it in transportation. At saka what is coming out now is that it happens in families. Halimbawa, I have a family and a member of uh, the household staff is goes to the market, goes to the grocery, etc., etc. Tapos, uh, when you are outside, you, you faithfully uh, obey the, the, the requirements of, of, of the Department of Health. But you are when you are inside the house, you don't change your shoes, you don't change your clothes, you don't take a shower when you arrive, you share the same bathroom, you share the same room, and and ang biro ko nga sa, ano, you cannot be knocking on, on bedrooms to find out kung nag face to face ba itong mga couples. Kasi usually couples eh. 
So uh, it's right now. I'm not saying that I'm excusing the Fed. I'm just saying that uh, 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 it's uh, it's good to find out. Kaya may contact tracing to find out kung saan na uh, saan nakuha ang ang ano and and it can be in various places. Possibly okay. then. Uh, possibly okay. then. Okay. Oh, okay. kaya kami were watching our numbers. Ang, ang nakikita ngayon, families talaga, Jasmine. Kaya all of you, uh, be careful uh, once you are home. Oo. Mayroon akong isang case na uh, tinutulungan ko. She's a widow. She put her four children, lahat nakatapos ng college. And they live in a one-room apartment. All of them. Siya, okay. apat na anak, dalawang lalaki, dalawang babae. So nung tumama yung yung COVID, uh, uh, one half of their family na tamaan ka agad. Another family pito. So uh, ang ang uh, uh, there is difficulty in determining kaya importante yung contact tracing. I'm not saying na deped uh, walang kasalanan. I'm just saying that uh, that uh, you, we have to be uh, very careful about yung sabi ko. Uh, these things happening in families. You know, a particular mayor of a local government, uh, oh, so. a million. Oh, oh. So uh, uh, you can get it anywhere. Pero pwede po bang ano yun, uh, tanggalin yung clause na dapat work-related? Um, because since COVID can be acquired anywhere, pwede po bang tumulong ang DepEd uh, sa mga guro o mga DepEd personnel kung nagkaroon sila ng COVID just because they are under DepEd and not because of any other yes yes we have been doing that since march we have been doing that uh, in in cebu for example uh, and and we don't need a memorandum or an ano from iatf we have been doing that for our teachers uh, and uh, uh, my recent incident then uh, uh, tinutulungan uh, natin and uh, in a sense that is I will not say anything anymore because gawa na naman ako ng meme. Uh, uh, basta ang sasabihin ko lang that we have been uh, uh, doing that pag may report pag malalaman namin and we immediately uh, collaborate with the Department of Health. Oo, ang kapartner namin dyan, ang Department of Health. Uh, in my case, uh, Jasmine, when I was, uh, when I was diagnosed, uh, we identified at least 30 of my staff who have had occasion to i know to be to be dealing with me face to face so 30 kami sabay-sabay na uh, nag, nag isolation talagang one room each ganon so we do that naman uh, for uh, but we don't make a press release about it because because you can always be misinterpreted and uh, made fun of. Opo. You, uh, uh, Secretary, just, last na lang po, no? Last na lang po talaga. Uh, um, just, meron uh, po proposals kasi na... Um, na I just, uh, that, has to be, that has to be a matter of policy. Kasi na ang pinag-aaralan, yung tinatawag na pool testing. Kasi iba't ibang definition. Nandito po ba si Yusek, uh, Yusek uh, Nepo? Yes, uh, Ipang definition as to what is massive t massive t uh, testing. It's kind of the ongoing, even in the medical uh, profession, mayroon pa silang debate about ano, uh, rapid testing and so on and so forth. And uh, so ganun. But uh, we help as much as, as, as we can without waiting and without issuing a press release. Marami na kami natutulungan. Uh, Jasmine, before that question, siguro, uh, can we ask uh, some additional insights from uh, Yusek Nepo, uh, sir? Uh, on what? <laughs> uh, dun sa ano pa, COVID assistance for mga teachers. Sorry, uh, well, well uh, they, it is in the required health standards. Sure, so you're correct, uh, Jasmine, that the... Uh, question is yung hindi ma-link sa reporting. But if the teachers are reporting 
in offices and as mentioned by the secretary uh, hindi mo naman ma- malalaman na kung saan uh, matrace and we do Pala. that uh, for, for all of those that are reporting even in the central office uh, kasi merong ibang work from home merong not work from home uh, mas mahirap nga actually yung talagang work from home kasi walang basis na uh, eh, for dun sa sinabi mo na uh, what do you call this dun sa uh, uh, distinction that was made in the required health standards but uh, of course a uh, part of that is really a prioritization uh, that we that we have but as mentioned by the secretary assistance is also uh, still provided uh, somehow but probably uh, less as a matter of uh, like a, a demandable uh, you know, assistance on, on on the part of DEPED than if you are really uh, among the uh, personnel, whether teacher or teaching or non-teaching, that are uh, reporting for uh, on-office-based uh, setting. And if you are a teacher that uh, uh, reports, whether occasionally uh, to school uh, uh, and also does the, uh, either the putting together of the uh, learning resources or takes duty. I was just in a, I took the call earlier from uh, this school I mentioned in here in Batanga City and uh, the teachers were there. Uh, they're doing uh, preparatory work. So uh, those things uh, will be provided assistance based on uh, our required health standards. And the other thing there is that, of course, we don't want this to spread uh, within the department. And that's why uh, the matter of uh, contact tracing, isolation, uh, uh, needs to be uh, uh, put put in place. But uh, again, hindi yan uh, internal to DepEd only uh, because we have to uh, work this out also uh, with the local government units at saka the local health uh, um uh, authorities and uh, so it, it's a it's a combination but uh, uh, I think uh, uh, that uh, uh, as per policy uh, will provide support but uh, as mentioned by the secretary also it is not the mass testing that everyone will be tested uh, uh, coming to the office it's still indicated testing based on either uh, exhibiting symptom or uh, having a known exposure to a positive uh, uh, individual. Uh, but the policy also says that sometimes uh, local government units have a program for uh, testing beyond what is indicated in our policy, that certainly we will welcome that uh, because there are some uh, local government units that insist on uh, a certain uh, testing program, and we will not object to uh, such programs. Thank you. Uh, again, uh, going back to my example, Jasmine, when I was uh, I tested positive, and we identified at least 30 plus members of my family, all of us were isolated, but all of them tested negative, so staff po and my family. So we cannot now it would be very difficult for us to say na napulot yun sa DepEd. Even if they... Uh, kasi lahat sila negative eh. Two weeks yun. Two weeks yun na ginastusan ng, 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 uh, ng uh, DepEd. But uh, I will not say anymore because there will be more memes uh, coming forth. You know? So... Uh, at saka when these things happen already, as in the case in Cebu, we, we locked down the uh, the regional office in Cebu, but we did not uh, issue a press release when two uh, when one or two of the staff uh, uh, got infected, but not again from the regional office, but because they were living in the same house with uh, uh, fellow boarders who who also were uh, infected. Pero tinulungan sila, binigyan ng financial assistance out of the budget, it's, uh, ganon, ganon. Because charity, the, I will not say charity, because it is so demeaning. Uh, humanitarian acts don't have to be uh, press con. Hindi naman uh, kailangan yan. 
and especially since uh, you have to do tracing. Yung sa akin, more than 30 sila eh. Ni isa sa akin staff, nag-test ng positive. So, uh, it cannot be said na galing yun sa DepEd. Dahil ang exposure nila sa akin was quite uh, intensive. No? So, yung, yung, yung mga, mga ganun. But, uh, maybe uh, the public can uh, uh, credit naman DepEd with uh, a humanitarian uh, framework, whether it is required by law or not. And if you have instances or cases like this, as I said, we don't need a memorandum. We don't need a press conference. We just go ahead and do it. And, you know, the various organizations in DepEd, there are professional organizations in DepEd, organizations of principals, organizations of supervisors, organizations of rank and file, and they they, they help each other as, as it is happening in the other uh, organizations. No? So, uh, uh, um, it, it's quite, as I said, challenging to come to conclusions and uh, um, accuse an institution probably na hindi pa well, that's it. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much, Jasmine. Uh, ma'am, for uh, the information po ng lahat, andito po si R.D. Malkov ng uh, NCR uh, para he can answer po dun, tungkol dun sa preparation po ng modules po dun sa mga big cities po natin. Yeah. R.D., go ahead. Yeah. Good afternoon, uh, good afternoon, Secretary. Good afternoon, uh, Director June. And to all our partners from the media. So in so far as NCR is concerned, uh, as of last week, we had a meeting with all the superintendents. And, uh, you know, despite of the situation in NCR being under MECQ until August 18, so the preparation for the production of modules are being done continuously. Uh, most, if not all, the LGUs have committed to shoulder the expenses for the module production for at least for the first month of the first grading period. So uh, some of the divisions uh, have uh, outsourced the printing of the modules uh, through the LGUs. Some of uh, the divisions in NCR are doing it by administration. So we would like to thank the LGUs who have uh, uh, given our SDOs uh, printing machines so, tuloy-tuloy po yung paggawa ng mga modules natin. And according to our superintendents, most of the modules will be ready at least for the first month uh, or four weeks of the modules to be used for the first grading period uh, by, by this week or uh, by until next week. So, yan po yung situation ng ating pong, uh, module preparation for NCR uh, despite of the uh, current MECQ being uh, under or being implemented now in the in the national capital region so hindi po lahat ng ncr divisions natin will be relying on the modules uh, some of the divisions or schools uh, will be implementing the blended uh, uh, the, the modified blended learning wherein uh, it, it will be a combination of the use of printed modules and some online or digital platform so, so far, Madam Secretary and to our media partners, that's the uh, current situation of preparation in so far as NCR is concerned. Thank you. Um. And, uh, maraming salamat, uh, R.D. Malcolm Garma ng uh, National Capital Region. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Jasmine uh, from ABS-CBN. Ang susunod po na magtatanong ay si Noel Talakay po ng Malaya Business Tonight. Uh, Noel, go ahead. Noel, uh, nag-offline ata. So we can proceed po. I think... Uh, the I'm next... here po. Ayun, Noel, go ahead. Yeah. Hi, Jude. Yes. Okay. Hello, Secretary. So yung question ko po is... Hi. Huwag po kayo may stress ha. Kasi from, kukunin ko lang po yung comment nyo sa, sa um, pronouncement po ng ACT Philippines. They're saying po, nakaka-receive daw po sila ng mga, ng mga 
um, reports na yung ibang teacher daw sa ibang lugar ay ginagamit na nila yung kanilang pera maproduce lamang po yung uh, uh, material for distance learning. Ano po ang makakomment nyo lang po din? Hindi na ako magkocomment niyan dahil uh, alam na ninyo kung anong sagot ko diyan uh, Si Yusik Anna ang uh, sasagot uh, niya nung tanong na yan, yung question na yan. Kasi na-imagine mo na kung ano ang sagot ko. Kahit Yusik Anna, ma'am. Yes, over to me. Mukha ka namang bright Noel eh. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe uh, Noel, uh, we really have to explain that uh, some of the teachers do some things on their own. And if they do something na talagang hindi bukas sa loob nila, ito yung kalalabasan. But I think no no one was uh, forced to do it. What we said when we uh, shifted to the blended learning approach or the learning delivery modality is that the funding is yet to be realigned, reprogrammed. So may technicality dito, no? Una, merong batas ang pondo, ang budget law. And it took us some time para ito ay maaprobahan na ma-realign from face-to-face -to, -face to blended learning. When we said that materials will be prepared, na-excite po talaga ang mga guro na magsimulang gumawa ng kanilang mga activity sheets, modules, and probably because of some information from central office to region to division down to school. Imagine we're talking about more than 46,000 schools na public school. At siguro yung pun talaga communication structure ng DepEd, pag uh, uh, bilog ang, ano, ang, ang, ang message sa taas, pagbaba po niyan, ibang shape na ang napupunta doon. What we're just saying is, may pondo po, pero ang pondo ay hindi ganun kabilis bumaba. Na-delay din po yan. We started giving the funds in July. But while they are waiting for the national fund, Nakipag-usap po tayo sa mga local government units at ginamit po nila ang kanila mga special education fund. Kasi hindi din naman natuloy yung palarong pambansa. Usually, the special education fund is also used for the palarong pambansa. And the secretary has announced that we prioritize the need for the continuing education. So marami po sa ating mga mayor, governor, ay talagang sumunod po dito at binigay po yung kanilang special education fund. Isa pa po na ginawa natin while waiting for the national funded um, uh, allocation, ay inalaw po natin na gamitin nila yung school MOE. Ang ibig sabihin ng school MOE, budget yan na nasa eskolahan na. At ating po silang pinayagan na gamitin ito na pambili ng mga materyales na kanilang po pwedeng gamitin or gawin. Isa pa po ay yung Brigada Skwela. So, nag-start tayo ng Brigada Skwela and uh, dito po siguro may mga pagkakataon talaga na may isang komunidad na siguro kahit mag ano ka no magkano ka ng programa ng volunteerism ay mahirap talaga. So mahirap po kasi i-generalize ang sitwasyon ng ating mga eskwelahan. Meron po kagaya rito sa Pasig, Manila, Taguig, they're very blessed, especially Makati na halos lahat talaga ay pino-provide ng local government units. Pero may mga lugar din po siguro na nahihirapan or baka natagalan. May dumating din pero natagalan. At kung merong mga nag-abono ng mga guro natin ay, ay naiintindihan natin kasi talagang meron hong nag-kusang uh, loob na gumawa nito. Uh, I'm sure kung hindi po ito kusang loob ay eh, talagang mahirap ilabas sa bulsa natin. Ano? Uh, kaya nga ang inaano natin dito, in what we, whatever we do, dapat po talaga ay eh, nagkakaitindihan tayo because there are policies, there are funding, pero siguro yung communication, pinaka-importante, kung paano na ibigay yung message sa kanila. Wala po tayong pinipilit, lalo na sa mga guru natin. In fact, the secretary has uh, done everything para po lahat ng kanilang mga, uh, for example, the salaries, the benefits, and all other na dapat mong matatanggap nila, ay pinaagahan pa nga po ni Secretary Dibin para hindi na sila mag-isip ng... Uh, Advance na yon Advance pa nga po. Opo. Advance, Noel. Yes. Uh -oh. One more question po. Ilang ilang days na lang po, or two weeks left, meron po, um, magsisimula na yung klase, um, gano'n po ka-ready yung um, depth? Hey, Noel, gusto ko lang mag, ano, mag, magdagdag na ay eh, kung naka-advance sila, di singili, mag, sigurado naman ako may resibo yan eh. So, madali naman bawiin dahil linunod, di na download naman talaga. Yes, ma'am. Ma may kondo naman dyan eh. Di, sisingili nila. Maraming taong gumagawa niyan. Ah. Mm. 
siguro ikaw minsan nag-advance ka ng gastos mo dahil hindi nakarating ka agad yung whatever allowance mo diyan sa paper mo karamihan sa atin tapos sinisingil natin di sisingilin ang sisingilin ang DepEd hindi naman ah, hindi, tama na may proseso siguro yung iba nang hirap pa mag-reimburse kung walang resibo ah. Pero hindi naman din tayo pwede mag-reimburse sa gobyerno, di ba? Kung wala rin yung sipo. So, siguro yung proseso ang kailangan i-explain sa kanila. So, clarify ko lang, pwede nila i-reimburse yung kanila mga expenses. Tama po ba ako? Tama po ba pagkaintindi ko? Basta po, siya ay nandun sa ating plano. Ibig okay. sabihin, uh, yun po ay nakaplano sa kanilang eskwelahan kasi baka po lahat ay maggawa naman ng kanilang expenses sa hindi nakaplano. So, kailangan po, hindi muna yan ng uh, koordinasyon sa kanilang eskwelahan at uh, make sure that the principal also knows what they're doing kasi baka makuha rin tayo na binili na pala ng eskwelahan tapos bumibili pa ang guro. So, isa rin po yun sa inefficiency. Kailangan po talaga may coordination at may communication sa loob mismo ng eskwelahan at mga guro. Mm -hmm. One more question, Secretary. Um, ilang days na lang po mag-open na yung, class, yung klase natin sa August 24. How ready po yung DepEd, yung buong school, yung buong public school? Nasaan na po tayo? Ilang percent na pong ready tayo po? Last question na po yan. Uh, Ma'am, naka-mute po kayo? Ma'am, well, mute yan. <laughs> ready na tayo. Ay... April pa natin ginawa yung learning continuity plan natin. Yung pagbabago ng curriculum, this is an existing curriculum na reduce natin ang numbers. Tapos itong mga uh, activities na ito, ha, uh, ang ating mga opisyal cannot tell the difference anymore between Sunday and Friday or Saturday or days or hours, whether it is early morning or it is early evening. Talaga, because you have a clear deadline, you have a clear goal. Hindi naman sabihin natin, oh, ano, magbukas tayo kung ready na kami. Pero kailang ready. So pag sundin natin kung anong sinasabi ng batas, strinetch natin yan na pinaka pinaka malapit sa end of August dahil end of August is on a weekend eh yun ang pinaka malapit na uh, day na pwede nating uh, <clears throat> uh, pwede tayong magbuka so nandiyan na yun na hindi na hindi na tayo magsasabing ah, sa tingin ko hindi pa ready mag conference muna tayo kung ready ba tayo etc etc kasi pagdating ng August 24 mayroon na namang challenge na iba, Noel. Pagdating ng September, may challenge na naman. Pagdating ng January 2021, election na. Closing na. There will be other concerns of government aside from COVID and so on. So, uh, that, that, is, that is how we have to, to work. Uh, you move backwards. Sabihin mo, ang pinaka-last practical day is August 24. Then you work backwards. Then you set deadlines. Then you set a schedule, whether it is morning, noon, or in between. Or what day is it, whether it is holiday or not. Uh, that is the day. Uh, Kung baga, sa ano, this is the day which the Lord has made. Uh, ito, uh, August 24. Pero yung pagsabi na... Re Well, all of us know what readiness means naman. Pag ready, that is relative. <laughs> When we look at a, half, uh, at, at a glass half full, or another we look at a glass which is half empty. Maski anong sabi mong ready ka, hindi pa naman ready sa uh, ibang nanonood ng nagbabantay sa DepEd. Hihintayin mo po ba yan kung kailan magsasabi na ready, magsasabi sa atin na ready na kami. Nandiyan na ang batas. But as I, say, I was saying, readiness is, is relative. Kaya nga favorite example ko, marriage. Not everybody feels that they are absolutely, absolutely 110% ready to get married. But they do get married. And it, and it works. Oo. Hindi, hindi naman ano, uh, lahat. Anyway, I always tell myself I will not talk, but then I, I, cannot, res I cannot resist your very uh, interesting uh, uh, remarks. 
Oo. Yung, okay. yeah, yeah, like how do you <laughs> define uh, redness? Mag-workout tayo lang, ano, criteria muna. And sa aming criteria, eh, ready na kami. Oo. Siguro sa criteria ng iba, hindi kami ready. Pero sa criteria ng Department of Education, sa criteria ng batas, sa criteria ng presidente, ready kami. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, Noel, uh, that's your second question, right? Yes. Thank you, that's all. Thank you for entertaining my question. Thank you, Secretary. Yes, right. uh, we, are, we are entertaining each other. <laughs> Minsan, magkita tayo at magtatawanan tayo. Alright, thank you so much, Noel. No? Uh, uh, that's Noel Talake from uh, Malaya Business tonight, ma'am. And then, uh, we're proceeding to with the lineup. Uh, I would like to call Jody Agoncillo po, ng Inquirer. Jody? Hi, ma'am. Hi, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, th this is Jody Agoncillo from Inquirer. Um, what happened earlier was really a test or a show of resilience, congratulations. So my question is just a follow-up on Ms. Jasmine Romero's question earlier. So ma'am, you said that it is a humanitarian deed of debt ed to assist the teachers who will contract the disease. Ma'am, but in cases um, where the teachers reporting for work acquire a disease, the COVID-19, who will pay for their medication and treatment? What we do is see we collaborate and we cooperate with the Department of, of, of Health. No, uh, nagtutulungan uh, kami. Uh, and then, um, as I said, kung kakilala mo, halimbawa, kasama mo sa opisina, you are in the same office, you are in the same outfit like the inquirer. One of your uh, office mates gets afflicted. Hindi naman kailangan memohan kayo. People give on their own. Organizations give on their own. Whether there is, what I'm saying is, whether there is a a policy or or not, uh, nagtutulungan naman talaga tayo. Not, not only DepEd. I'm not claiming uh, DepEd alone does this by its lonely self. Eh, nagtutulungan naman talaga tayo. Ako, I'm president of a choir. Uh, hindi naman uh, mag-spend kami ng time na hihingi ng ayuda or tulong from the government. Uh, we, we, we help us each other as much as we can because we are, we are human beings. O may policy o hindi. Pero yung poli policy, of course, we, we have a health office. Tapos hihingi ng kami ng tulong, uh, especially sa diagnostics. Uh, and so on. At saka importante kasi yung contact tracing, at saka yung testing, contact tracing, parang mantra na yan no, na uh, ano, and we cannot be spending time sa DepEd ba ito nakuha, uh, nakuha ba ito sa bedroom or, or whatever or wherever uh, the, 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 the person went. Wala nang tanungan ng ganun. Uh, yan, 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 ang, yan ang paningin ko mm -hmm. sa, sa issue na ito. Until, uh, of course, uh, the government uh, itself. Ang ano ang policy ng government, ang tinitreat, of course, are, are, are those who, who are uh, talagang uh, nadadiagnose na, nadadiagnose na hmm. sila. Oh. Ayawang ko kung anong sasabihin na Yusik Ann. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Kasi marami naman tayo paparaan sa loob ng mga opisina. Oh, Para ma bang... Yes. Hindi naman kasi walang puso yung department na ano na hindi pinapansin yung mga nagkaka ano. Yun ang med medyo hindi ko types na uh, attitude towards the DepEd. Ma'am, so so it can be clarified and uh, uh, cl uh, well clarified and simplified to everyone. Uh, the government doesn't have the funding for hospitalization or treatment. Remember, our funding is from the budget law. At dito po sa budget law na nabigay sa atin, wala naman hong budget na nakalagay doon ay para sagutin lahat ng ating mga empleyado, lalo na kung may COVID uh, treatment. Kayo ay prevention, at saka po yung health standards. Yan po ay provided ng government. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng kailangan sa loob ng opisina, uh, pati po yung ginagawa din natin ng paraan, yung sa contact tracing, kapag po sa atin po na ay uh, meron pong empleyado, 
meron po tayong partnership and coordination with the Department of Health at saka ng local government unit. Malaking tulong po yung local government unit sa amin kasi yung mga teachers po mismo ay uh, nabibigyan ng tulong ng mga local hospitals, government-owned hospitals, at kung hindi man kakayanin, kasi alam naman natin na malaki na rin ang demand doon, yung pong sinasabi ni Secretary na hindi naman namin pinipress release, ay may internal po kami na pondo. Ibig sabihin, hindi galing sa gobyerno kung hindi contribution na mga... Galing sa amin. Yan. Galing sa amin. Contribution ng lahat na amin pong iniipon, mga voluntaryo. At ito po ay uh, sa tulong na rin ng ating mga officials, ano, lalo na po yung mga superintendents, regional directors, uh, ASEC, USEC, mga directors. Yan po ay nag-collect. At meron po tayong pondong ginagamit na hindi naman namin ito nire-report kasi na ay ito ay isang personal na initiative na ginagawa ng Department of Education. Marami pong nag-positive na at marami pong nagkaroon ng treatment na hindi po nire-report sa inyo, probably because of the privacy as well. But we do not remiss on the contact tracing dahil yan po ay aming uh, binibigay o nire-refer sa DOH at sa local government units. At hindi lang po sa hospitalization, pag may kailangan din ng kanilang pamilya, personal na nabibigay. Pero yan nga po ay nanggagaling sa contribution uh -huh. na personal at hindi po galing sa uh -huh. government. Sika halimbawa, you move, you move away from DepEd, you look at the national government. Nung pag-unang uh, bugso ng ano, talagang nakita na yung magnitude ng danger na yan, the cabinet members contributed a certain percentage of their salaries. Pero palagay ko hindi naman yan pinipress release at saka tinitelevise. And I'm sure within their own departments, ginagawa yan, iba't ibang grupo, like, like uh, sa, ano, sa DepEd, you have an association of uh, principals, you have an association of superintendents, you have an association of, of directors, yung, yung mga ganon. So, sa sarili nilang uh, earnings yan, na generate sa kanilang mga contributions, tumutulong sila at hindi na sila naghihintay pero hindi naman din kailangan yung sinasabi nga sa good book halata na ako panay quotation ko from the good book na nagsasabi when you give your right hand should not know what your left hand is doing you do it in secret and we don't have to announce it yung sa mga and you do uh, and we are not saying na kami lang gumagawa. In your own organizations, ginagawa ninyo yan. Hindi lang yung mga kapamilya, pero in the organization itself, ginagawa naman ninyo yan. Hindi naman lahat na sasabihin mo ay galing yan sa isang departamento, therefore that departamento has to do it. Bear in mind that, you know, we have a huge bureaucracy and uh, so on and so forth. Pero yung bayanihan naman, and I can attest to it, the cabinet members contributed, tinag, inanuhan sila ng kanilang, tinukahan sila ng percentage. Pero wala namang press release, wala namang medalya, wala namang seremonya. Basta tahimik lang dahil, dahil uh, obligasyon natin as, as, as fellow human beings. No? And we don't even have to ask questions like that. Because it is being done and it is part of our culture. Ginagawa naman talaga yan eh. Oo. Yes ma'am, but that is a great assurance on the part of DepEd ma'am. Yeah, what, what do you expect DepEd to do? DepEd is the, uh, uh, yun ang nagtatransmit, one of the major transmitters of culture. And uh, 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 good uh, values. Mm -hmm. oh, so, so you, 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 are you surprised that we do it? But we are Filipinos and we are part of Filipino culture. Ganun ba ang tingin ninyo sa DepEd? Now it's my turn to ask a question. I think, ma'am, the teachers need an assurance at this point, ma'am. Uh, those who have been uh, helped they know it. March pa, yung una nating tinulungan, Mandaluyong ba yun? Yosek Ann? Mm -hmm. And si Arion. 
Yes, thank you so much, Secretary Briona. Uh, sa, sa, sa Cebu. Oh. Yes. Oh. Thank you. That's good to know, ma'am. Ma'am, for my second question. Yeah, it's good for you to know. That's good for you to know. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, for my second question. <laughs> See you, Sika. I just know the status of the proposed hiring assignment of teacher facilitators um, expected to assist parents who are not equipped to teach the children. Uh, may I just know if there will be extra compensation for them? For the yeah, you suggest, I think, can help. You suggest, can help, ma'am. You suggest. If I may. You suggest. Go ahead, Pa. Yeah. Uh, Ngayon, we are now uh, about to finalize the, the guidelines for the hiring because we have to ensure that uh, this is uh, in, in connection with the civil service rules uh, regulation. But just to say that we are uh, about to finalize that because we need to say if you remember, I just mentioned that in our previous survey of uh, enrollment. Kung isa yung mga isang tinanong natin doon, sino ba ang makakatulong sa pag-aaral ng mga bata, yun po ay gagamitin natin para malaman natin kung ano pang tulong ang may bibigay sa mukha ng tinatawag nating learner support aid. Ito po ay sa pamamagitan ng uh, uh, paggamit ng uh, special education fund na binanggit kanina ng ating kalihim na si Ma'am uh, Bionis po. Kaya nga po yung, kwan, yung uh, learner support fund natin, uh, sorry, yung uh, learner support aid natin po, kailangan po ito ayon doon sa pangangailangan ng bawat uh, division at rehiyon. Hmm. Director Dodoy? And, and also, uh, a teacher who, uh, voluntary naman yun eh, uh, a teacher who does not want to be part of this effort, that has, may not. That's why we are, that's why God gave us the freedom of choice. All right. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. And thank you so much, uh, you suggest. Herap na herap na si John. Thank you so much, uh, Jody. Uh, it's Ma'am, it's si Jody thank first you, time ma to join ng press con natin. <laughs> si Jody, uh, from Inquirer. Uh, po. Yes, ma'am. Ang susunod na uh, magtatanong po ay si uh, John Vick, ma'am. Uh, but the bottom line is what will come out in tomorrow's newspaper. Hello po, good afternoon, Secretary. Yeah. Yeah. And siguro just a clarification lang po dun sa pag, uh, paghingi ng tulong ng ibang teachers. Ibig sabihin, hindi nila kailangang manghingi ng tulong para sa bond papers, sa printer inks, dahil may budget tayo. Paano po kung wala na silang bond papers ngayon at inks, saan nila pwedeng erase yung issue kung may budget pa at para magtanong at makapanghingi ng budget? Ako ang sasagot niyan. Sinabi ko yan kanina na at the regional level. Kung hindi pwede sa regional level, sa central office level, at saka may budget na na di na download para dyan o, o para sa mga uh, uh, challenges na yan, uh, which we expect to, to really uh, happen. No? Lalo na kung naghihintay lang tayo, ay talagang mangyari yung sasabihin nating mangyari. Oo. Pero kung uh, ang central office, nakikita na yan. One month na yung nakikita, yung, yung, yung ano na yan, possibility, pinagdebatehan na yan. Yung question mo exactly, uh, no, that exact question which you raised. And so we, we have uh, uh, tried to uh, resolve it uh, early enough kasi we knew that it was forthcoming uh, predictable naman ang ating mga behavior eh thank you secretary uh, 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 thank you, secretary. we can also see the, the, the direction in the economy uh, like you, uh, enrollment for example uh it's nothing to, uh, I mean, uh, enrollment is due to the downturn in the economy because people who are jobless normally put their children to private schools. Ang natamaan talaga yung private school enrollment, hindi naman public school enrollment. And then you have the migration. It's also the, the economy itself. At uh, uh, we have to credit the government for coming out 
it's not the it's not the most uh, thrilling thing to say that you have a negative 16.5 uh, uh, negative growth in the GDP for one quarter. Pero sinabi. So that uh, we are aware and we will do. Pero kami na, yung those who, who have been watching, well, siyempre nakikita na nila yun. Uh, it's not invented. Oo. Nakikin Yes, ma'am. Uh, go ahead, Janvik. Uh, uh, since we're, we're prepared with the with the opening of classes now, what would be our priorities na lang po for the next few weeks? Ano yung mga babantayan natin at yung mga yung mga dapat natin bago magbukas ng klase? From where I sit, of course, it is the production of the, the modules and the learning materials. Ang priority sa amin is communication. Sa ako, from where I am, because we have been faithful, uh, we regularly report, we give accurate numbers, but uh, what comes out necessarily uh, may be uh, quite uh, different. So it's, the, for me, and I'm being very frank with you, that is a major challenge. Uh, how to, uh, I mean, yeah, ganon. Kasi we have regular press conferences, we issue the numbers, etc. We have been saying for the longest time, now it's August 24, we have never moved from that. And we have been saying that face-to-face -face is not allowed by the president. We have not moved from that. And, and still the, the debate goes, uh, goes on. So probably, uh, so it's a challenge to us, uh, and maybe you, uh, well, that's it. So yung priorities, of course, is the preparation of the module, and also the, kasi uh, um, uh, blended learning naman, to see kung what we saw, kasi we had 489 ano, uh, um, simulations, di ba, and we saw that it was yeah. working. There were problems, pero na resolved. So, uh, the, as I said kanina, earlier this morning, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So, makikita na natin. But at least, we will not be caught by surprise. If, if there is hostility, if there is criticism, if there is inaccuracy, there is misinterpretation, we will not be caught by surprise because we have undergone already the, the entire uh, uh, cycle of, of uh, preparation, which uh, is as important. And of course, you all of you appreciate the fact that we did not ask, I mean, you know, uh, the, this thing happened not only to the department, but to the entire government system. The, you only have so many months, you only have so many days. So what is the alternative? What do we do aside from uh, uh, discussing the challenges? What we should do is to find the solutions. And that is what the department is doing, looking for the solutions and not only being bogged down by the perceived problems. There are other issues which probably I can, uh, I, 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 will, uh, uh, I, I may not uh, take up uh, 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 at this time. There are other challenges which, which do not have to be discussed uh, uh, at, at, at this time. No, very important for me is, is really the, the, the modules, you know, I know the opening and so on and uh, the unexpected kasi ang, ang philippines is always like that mayroong unexpected so at least when the unexpected coming comes in on 24th it is expected diba uh oh salamat po uh oh thank you so much ma'am that's thank enough you. photoballs for you naman jan vic siguro Thank you, Mark. <laughs>
Nag-absent lang ako sa klase ninyo ng dalawang linggo eh. <laughs> Namiss ka namin, ma'am. <laughs> Hindi, mas mabuti yung one-on-one. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. I'm very sure, you all look, from what I see, um, you guys were too late. You are very bright. You can read naman between the lines. You, all of you went to college. And you went to university. You've been working for so long. You, you, you can say, you can do your own analytics if you wish to do your own analytics. So, nasa uh, ano yon. Kaya, um, but we have to be nice and to be polite to each other. And to, yeah. Alam naman niyo ang sagot sa tanong ninyo, di ba? At saka hindi kayo titigil hanggat hindi niyo makuha yung sagot na gusto ninyo. Kung ayaw ninyo yung sagot na binibigay, eh di ano, bigyan ng kunting kulay, bigyan ng kunting ano, eh di masaya na lahat. Oo. Pero tingnan mo yung kabuuan naman. What is at stake here? Yung sinabi ko nga kanina, what is at stake here are the children. Sino ba ang nagde-debate? Kayo, you are grown-ups. Ako, I am an oldie. Matanda na talaga ako. May, may uh, directors, may officials are grown-ups. Our teachers are grown-ups. And we should ask the children, do they want to go to school or not? And, and, and every chance I have, I talk to children and I ask them, they want to go to school. They miss their classmates, they miss their teachers. And mayroon pang isa na uh, re-report sa amin ng director na sinabi talaga outright he does not want to be taught by his mother. Oo. So hinahanap si teacher. Um, alam naman niyo yung sagot ng tanong ninyo eh. Pero syempre, kailangan na sasabihin ninyo ako ang nagsabi para mag, makamims na naman. Para makamura na naman. Oo. Para... O tawa ng tawa si, si, si Jun. Oo. Para maka, ano na naman, ng, ng three-letter word. So, uh, that, that, that's it. All right. Uh, thank you so Matagal much. Matagal ko nang gustong sabihin ninyo, I look at you as my stu- as students of life because you are younger. And you are learning from life. What are you learning from life in your profession? The way you do your work. How do you do it? And why do you do it? What do you report to your readers who take you very seriously? And who believe in what you say and what you analyze? Anong papel ninyo? Napaka-importante. Kaya para sa akin, malaking ba... Malaki talaga ang challenge ang communications. And and June knows that uh, very well. I, uh, I keep on 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 nagging. Kasi his problem with me is I always tell the truth. <laughs> uh, but that is my obligation to myself. Sige. Oo. Pinapuwisa na si June na nagpapunas sa nagpapunas. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, ang last na magtatanong, si Dante Amante po ng UNTV. Free na po ito, si Sir Dante. Uh, Sir Dante? Sige, mag-exchange tayo ng Bible verses, Dante. <laughs> uh, wala na po ata. Sina po online, Sir Dante? Wala na po ata, ma'am. So I think that's it. Uh, uh, yun po yung ating uh, last part ng press uh, But can, can I have the last statement? Bigla kong naalaala. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. There, there, there is, uh, of course, you all know St. Paul, di ba? In one of the letters, no. uh, St. Paul wrote a series of letters. Yung tinatawag nilang the epistles of St. Paul na nasa Bible. Hello po. One of his letters was uh, addressed to the Philippians. Yung nakatira sa Philippi. And sabi niya doon, I- I- ano ko na lang dahil uh, hindi, hindi ko maano exactly. If there is anything good, if there is anything beautiful, 
if there is anything worth emulating, if there is any good at all in this world, ang last and unstable, think on these things. So what do you look for? The scandalous, the funny, the ridicule. What do you look for? What are you reflecting on? But I'm saying that at the personal level because I look at you as as personal uh, friends. Diba? Next time, paabsinin na ako ni, ano, ni June. I will be barred from the deaf and press conferences. <laughs> Thank you so much, ma'am, uh, para sa ating uh, uh, close. Hello po. Ay, sino po ito? Uh, si, si Dante po. Ayun, ma'am. Dante, okay, Dante. Si Dante, Dante. Opo, okay, hindi ako narinig kanina. Habo lang po sana. Sige, go ahead, go ahead. Sure, sure, yeah. Hello po. Yes. Yes, Dante, go ahead. You can ask your question now. Dante? Okay. Uh, may hapon na uh, secretary at saka magandang uh, hapon po sa lahat. Uh, tanong ko na po secretary itong, uh, siguro hindi ko na talaga to tanong, tanong to nitong si dating assistant secretary po ng DepEd, si Mr. Emilio June Abilita. Ang tanong po niya yes, ngayon, yeah. ang concern po niya, Eh, yung modules daw po, paano po yung ano, uh, sino pong sasagot doon sa reproduction ng mga modules at uh, saan na raw po ngayon, kumbaga, hello po, hello, hello po. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. narinig ko, tinanong ngayon kaninang umaga pa yung mga mod, mga tanong tungkol sa module. Siyempre, uh, ang, ang, ang ang pamalaan ang sumasagot sa cost ng mga modules dahil uh, either sa national government or sa local government. Ang local government ang humahawak ng special education fund which is actually a national tax part of which will go to education. So doon ang ang ano ang uh, sagutan kung kumbaga kung sino ang magsu-sponsor. At the end of the day, it is public funds. Now, kung kukulangin yung public funds, kung minsan mayroong uh, mayroong uh, school board, magkampanya sila, tumatanggap sila ng donasyon from the private sector, from institutions, pero ang ini-encourage namin uh, not so much as cash donations using my name or using a bank account, pero kailangan may transparency. Kailangan malaman na halimbawa ng buong eskwelahan o ng buong organisasyon ng ano, school board kasi mayroon naman talagang school board which is composed of parents and, uh, and teachers and officials para mag-decide sa mga ganyan. Public funds generally ang ginagamit. May mga donasyon, dalawang klaseng donasyon, kung foreign, itong mahabang lecture ito, you can get from the multilaterals. The multilaterals are owned by multi-owners, multi mga iba't ibang bansa, kagaya ng World Bank, kagaya ng ADB, kagaya ng UN, yan, mga multilaterals yan. Mayroon naman galing sa bilaterals, these are individual countries na nagbibigay, na nagbibigay sila ng, uh, ng, ng tulong. Pero ang bulto niyan, ang kalakihan niyan, ay talagang galing sa public funds. Pero kung isang multilateral magbibigay ng donasyon o pera, o isang bilateral magbibigay ng donasyon ng pera, pagpapasok na yun sa pamahalaan, public fund na yun. Dadaan na yun sa budget. Aaprubahan na yun. So, sa kabuuan ay ang funding ng mga modules na yan. Um, uh, I'm very sure alam ni Assistant Secretary yan na ang funding ng modules na yan are from public funds. At sa kahalimbawa, kung galing sa donasyon, kung ibigay yan sa pamahalaan, nagiging public fund na yan dahil you have to be accountable uh, for it. So, uh, ayun yung pinanggalingan. Kaya kung magdo-donate, 
mas mabuti to the organization itself, mag-donate sa DepEd, mag-donate sa PTA, mag-donate sa school board, kaysa mag-donate sa individual na teacher. Kasi, siyempre, he or she will have to account, uh, account for it. No? At siyempre, maiistorbo pa siya. So, ayun, yun ang pinanggalingan. At palagay ko alam niya si San Secretary yan. Alam niya yun. Kasi kung galing siya, galing ba siyang DepEd? Dati raw pong uh, ASIC sa DepEd. Oh, uh, yes po, asik. Dating, dating uh, nasa legal. Oh, eh, legal pa. Eh, di siyempre, alam niya ang batas. Nandyan yan sa legal, what is the definition of a public fund? Hindi ma'am lahat. What is the definition of a public fund? Hindi ma'am lahat ng nasa legal, eh, alam ang batas. Hey, what? <laughs> ano ba itong nangyayari ngayon? Ay, eh, si Chief. Tayo po saya ngayon. <laughs> sige. Sige, may mga, well, ano, klaro-klaro naman yan eh. Ano, eh, at saka you cannot spend, uh, kung legal ka, alam nyo naman, you cannot spend public, hindi, ang isang pondo legal, maging public fund yan, hindi ka makaspend ng public fund without the corresponding budgetary appropriation na hindi yan nakocover. So, therefore, dadaan sa DBM. So, uh, kung wala yan, eh, siyempre, uh, tatanungin ka. Nasa konstitusyon pa yan na no, no public money, walang spending ng fund without the corresponding appropriation. Ako hindi ako abogado, pero uh, sa aking kurso, which is business, uh, ano, may subjects kami sa law, at saka sa actual practice, alam naman natin yan. Sa public finance, alam naman natin yan. Pag hindi mo yan alam, yung sikan, babawiin ko yung brado mo. <laughs> Oo. So that's, that, that's it. All right. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Pag gusto niya, I'll give him a free course on ano, public finance. So, parang magandang review. At saka kung sino gusto mo. I used to give courses in public finance sa ma mga media people. How to read the budget. How to read appropriations. How a budget is prepared. Taxes and so on and so forth. Noon kasi hiningi nila yun para, ano, anyway, mukha atang nag enjoy na ako, nagising ako bigla. <laughs> si Christian. Although pinapawisan si John. Next time, I'm upset na ako. Kick out mo na ako sa klase mo, John. <laughs> Thank you so much, ma'am. And, uh, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa ating mga media partners who waited for a few hours uh, just to join us po ito sa national launching natin. Uh, maraming maraming salamat Secretary Lenore Magdolis Riones, ang ating mga miyembro ng Execom, ang ating mga inimbitang uh, resource persons po mula sa iba't ibang paaralan sa buong bansa, mga kasamahan sa media parents, learners, at lahat ng uh, stakeholders. And I would like to repeat ma'am na pasalamatan yung ating mga uh, media partners na walang sawang nag-live sa atin kanina. Uh, medyo mahaba-haba itong listahan natin. Salamat po sa PTV, sa RTVM, uh, PTOO, NBC13, Solar uh, Learning, uh, uh, the Office of Senator Pia Cayetano, uh, Office of Senator Wynga Chalian, uh, PIA, uh, Central Office po, yung ating uh, Philippine Broadcasting uh, Service, Smart Telecom, uh, Tirad Pass Radio and Television Broadcasting Network, DWAT, Planet Cable Community Channel, CLTV 36, One Media Pampanga TV 44, Radio Veritas, uh, Romblon Cable, uh, Oriental Mindoro Provincial Government, uh, DZGN, Spirit FM 102.3, Sorsogon, uh, Kabankalan uh, Community Antenna Television Incorporated, yung ating Radio Pilipinas Cebu, uh, yung office po ni Congresswoman uh, Lauren Legarda as well, uh, My TV Cebu, PIA Region 9, uh, Kamigin Island Cable TV Corporation, uh, Strong Radio, Cagayan de Oro, DXSA 105.5, Radio Natin FM 
Davao Occidental, uh, PIA Region 11, MWEWS Radio, uh, K37 TV Digos, Kakampi Multimedia Agency, uh, Brigada FM, DXEJ 90.9, Yes FM, Tandag Radio Birada, DXIM 93.5, uh, Hope Radio, PTV Cordillera, and of course, DZRK Radio Pilipinas Tabuk. So, uh, muli maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng ating mga media partners sa buong Pilipinas na nag-live ng ating uh, uh, launching po ng uh, ating school readiness uh, program. So, dito po nagtatapos ang ating uh, press conference sa hapong ito. Uh, so, kailangan nating uh, ihanda ang ating mga sarili, ika nga, ni Secretary. Uh, kailangan ihanda ang isip para ihanda ang sarili para sa bagong bukas. Ako po si uh, Jun Arvin Gudoy ng Public Affairs Service. Uh, hanggang sa muli at magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Handang isip, handa bukas. Salamat po.